How does a midlife crisis end? And what are the signs that a midlife crisis is coming to an end? I'm Coach Adrian. Welcome to Happily Committed. Going through a midlife crisis is something that many, many people go through. And there are different stages to a midlife crisis. The different stages of a midlife crisis are shock, denial, depression, anger, and acceptance. And so when you know the different stages, you can start to basically pinpoint where you are and the cycle of your midlife crisis or the midlife crisis of your spouse or someone that you know. And ultimately, once you start to accept the transformation, the changes that you're going through, once you start to take accountability and you're able to detach and gain perspective and not be driven by impulse based on your, your emotions, you know that it is a sign that you're coming towards the end of that midlife crisis. It is also important to understand the common fears associated with, with midlife crisis. Because if you understand the fears, you'll be able to overcome them and also be aware once these fears starts to dissipate that your midlife crisis is coming to an end. One of the most common fears that people struggle with, especially in this materialistic culture, is the fear of getting older. Once your body doesn't look the way that it used to look, or once you feel yourself not being able to do certain things that you were able to do, it can become scary. And once you start to overcome this fear, once you're starting to accept this transformation that all of us will need to go through, aging is an inevitable process that we must all cope with, then you'll know that the signs of the end are near. Another common fear that people have to grapple with during midlife crisis is the fear of missing out on your dreams. And that can be overwhelming when you re wake up one morning to realize that you're not living the life that you want to live, that your dreams are completely different than the life that you've built. And clear signs that a midlife crisis is coming to an end is when you start to make peace with that, or when you start to realign your life with the new goals that you've set for yourself. And once you start to live with purpose again, when you are living a fruitful life that you are proud of, this can be you, of course, or your spouse, your partner, or whoever is going through that midlife crisis. The fear of death is also something that is quite common and it can be linked to aging. And a lot of people have death anxiety and it's very real and it can be tremendously uh, burdensome. And I highly encourage you to talk to a therapist, to seek proper guidance in regards to, to, to this fear of dying. The midlife crisis will ultimately start to fade when you stop being less extreme. When you start to find more balance, peace of mind, well-being, and happiness. It also starts to end the moment that one takes accountability. It's about awareness of what you're going through and accountability to right the wrongs, to realign your life with your newfound values. That starts to happen when you find peace of mind and when you're able to live in the moment, not be so consumed by potential fear of the future, or, or also not dwell on the past and decisions that you've made. And the end result will be that you won't feel like you need more. You will feel grateful. You'll be able to appreciate what you have instead of being focused and concerned on everything that you don't have and what you have not created for yourself and for your life. I know how devastating it can be. I know that a lot of people make unwise decisions during their midlife crisis and they end their marriage or their relationship or they start to turn on the people that love them the most. And 
If you or someone you know are going through a midlife crisis, please know that we have a lot of empathy and compassion for what you're going through. We work with people that are going through these um, transformations on a daily basis. And that's why, one of the reasons why, we've created Happily Committed. So if you find yourself uh, connecting with this video, please like it and share your story with others. You won't believe how many people you can inspire by being truthful and honest and vulnerable. And we're trying our utmost to create a safe community. We've built a movement trying to help people create the type of life that they want to live and to also empower you to create the type of relationship that you really want to live out. So thank you for being part of this movement. Thank you for being on this journey with us and keep fighting the good fight with Happily Committed. <laughs>